Hello, everyone. Welcome to 12.3's Z School number 26 uh, for the year 2020. Today is a, a two mini topics suggested by uh, one of our regulars, AJ. I'll try to cover them. Um, not sure we can do what you want to do, but there's sometimes in Zoho, we're, we're doing uh, 26 uh, episodes here. We're kind of getting off into the weeds a little bit. Some of the more esoteric Zoho things. We're going to circle back and do some of the more common stuff. Uh, but I thought today we just clean up these two little items that AJ suggested. Um, I am taking next week off. I have a Zoho meeting next week, uh, Thursday morning. It's also uh, just before Labor Day weekend and didn't know if a lot of people might have plans. So uh, we'll kind of like start new in two weeks and we'll kind of reset the cycle a little bit, kind of go back to the more common Zoho stuff. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about today is Zoho work drive. We covered this, uh, maybe six months ago, and there's a few more things we can talk about there that AJ had questions about. Um, I am showing my screen. This is a demo system, not our production system. I'll try to uh, bounce back and forth a little bit. Uh, Zoho Work Drive is right here. It is storage space. It's an app Zoho has. Uh, it's an immense amount of storage. It's part of the value of Zoho One. It's included in Zoho One. It's also its own thing. Um, but uh, I have a little two user demo here. I'm in the work drive app. We'll go through this kind of quickly, but I want to click on these three dots here and go to what's called the admin console. It opens up another tab and this will tell you that we have five terabytes of space, which is what you get at a minimum. Uh, if you're a Zoho One subscriber, you'll get five terabytes for your first uh, 10 users. In other words, your 10 users will share five terabytes. If it's a one user Zoho one, you still get five terabytes. That's 5,000 gigabytes. Um, if you have more than 10 users, you get a half a terabyte for every user afterward. Uh, I've got a client with about 130 Zoho one licenses, and he has about 65 or 60 terabytes of storage, which is just massive way more than you would get with, say, Dropbox or Google Drive. Uh, it works kind of the same way. So AJ's question was setting up synchronization with your laptop. And what that means is that you can automatically copy files on your laptop up to WorkDrive. And of course, if one of your coworkers puts a file in WorkDrive and you choose to sync that folder, a copy will go to your laptop. And uh, I wanted to talk about how to set that up. So I'm going to go back to uh, the Zoho work drive, the original screen we were on. I'm going to go to the three dots. And right here at the bottom are the work drive apps. And so there's a Windows app. Most people are Windows users. This is for Windows machines. There's an iPhone, iPad, and there's an Android app. So you can actually put this on your phone um, or tablet and sync files there. So possibly pictures off your phone. Uh, what you don't see is a Mac app. Uh, they don't have one, they don't have one yet. I'm not sure what the plans are. I know when we got certified in this, uh, there was a question on there. Specifically, the answer is they don't do Mac. And then there's an Office add-on, never used it, not sure. So if you click on the desktop app, it will just download it. Uh, MSI is a Microsoft installer file and you'll download it and you will run it. And I think I will switch screens here. Give me a second to change because I already have it running for my production system on this machine. I don't want to have two running. I'm not even sure if that's possible. Um, so let me stop sharing and reshare. So here's screen one. And 
uh, if you, uh, I already have it installed. I'm going to show you what it looks like in Windows. Uh, but down here in the system tray, you will see a little work drive icon. This is where work drive lives, is on your machine. And uh, you can double click on it. It will show you all the files that have recently been synchronized. Whoops, just took me there. I didn't mean to do that. Um, and it will tell you that these were synced 29 minutes ago. Uh, if you click on the little gear here, I know it's kind of hard to see on this big screen, but if you click on this little gear, it tells me how much of my uh, terabytes I've used. Um, there's, I can pause syncing and I can also go to preferences. We're gonna go to preferences. And it's pretty simple. There's a, a language show the status on startup. If I go to my account, there's my uh, usage. There's a folder on my machine called uh, that all the files are gonna sync into. It's just called the work drive folder, puts it in your uh, users folder in Windows. I don't know where it puts it on an Android tablet, but they'll, I can change it. And then here under selective sync, you gotta be very careful not to sync everything, obviously with five terabytes of storage, you could just clobber your hard drive, probably fill it up and crash your computer. So you you wanna be selective about what you sync. So we go to choose folders. These are our main folders. So everybody in work drive has what's called a my folders. Just show you here's work drive. There's a my folders folder that's private to you. There's sh these are uh, files shared with you. And then there's the, what's called team folders. Um, Sorry, I'm on the, what I brought over here is my demo system and this is my actual production system. And uh, so we have some, uh, we have a folder up here called QuickBooks. We back up QuickBooks uh, to, we use, we use WorkDrive to back up some files. And so uh, I don't want those QuickBooks backups on my PC here. So I have that unchecked, but uh, anything I work on for clients, uh, all the subfolders are in here and you could selectively do them. I do them all. And that's how you pick the files that synchronize. If you, uh, if you look at my windows Explorer way over here, you'll see, I have a folder called Zoho work drive. It's in the C users, Jeff, it, and it has, uh, those three things that I synced, clients, my folders, and shared with me. And if I go to clients, then the subfolders are all there. And um, so everything that was in that folder gets synced. And so if I'm offline, I can still access all these files on behalf of my clients. What's kind of nice is I have this, I have an office machine, I have a home machine, I have a laptop, and I'm running the synchronization on all of them. So if I do some work on the laptop, I work on those files, they synchronize to work drive. Then if I go into the office, I don't have to like pull out my laptop and fire it up because all the files I need are here. Um, last thing I'll show you is in Windows way down at the bottom under Zoho work drive, it installed a little thing here. Really all you can do is start work drive or uninstall it. If I click on Zoho work drive, um, something should pop up. Oh, it just brought up my folders. The app itself really sits in what's called your system tray down here. And uh, you can, this will just take you to your folder. So, uh, as far as like copying your entire C drive, I, I, I don't know if you were, uh, um, AJ, if you were hoping to like click off 10 file folders or 10 things on your computer and sync those up, you'd have to drag them into the Zoho work drive folder. Anything that goes in here will get synced up. And, uh, I don't think you can just copy like your entire C drive. You'd have to move it into the work drive folder. It wouldn't work. Uh, I'm gonna go back and look at questions real quick. Uh, I'm also gonna go back to sharing my uh, 
demo system and not my production system. And I got too much stuff open here. Close that. Sharing screen number two, looking at chat. How do you possibly use five terabytes if every time you open the work drive, a copy goes to your desktop or laptop? Isn't it limited by the size of your machine's available space? No. Um, work drive is, is a lot more than just a PC backup tool. For instance, in uh, Zoho CRM, let's go back to Zoho CRM here. This is the demo system. If I go to the wrench in Zoho CRM, we'll talk about just CRM file storage. Um, I'm gonna go down here under data administration. There's a thing called storage. And there's two kinds of storage in Zoho CRM. There's data and files. Data are all your records. And this little demo system allows 10 gigabytes, which is a lot for two people. Uh, we're using half a megabyte. So not much. And then there's file storage, which are attached files. Um, and we're allowed three gigabytes. And how does this get used? Say I go to a contact here. I go to Joe Broker. His data is just the data we see here, name, address, phone number, it isn't much. There is a folder here called attachments. And so let's say I send a contract to Joe and I use Microsoft Word, you know, I could then attach, I could upload a file off my computer and throw it up here. It will be stored in CRM. And, you know, so I'll just pick a, a file here. It's just going to go to my machine. Um, I'll pick something. I'll pick a picture. What do we have a picture of? There's a picture of me in India at Zoho. So this is a one meg picture, 827K. And I'm copying it from my machine up into Joe Broker's record, just a file. But I think you can see that if, if you every picture is a meg, um, I could eat up my three gigs of file storage pretty quick. If pictures are a meg, I can hold 3,000 pictures with this system. Again, I'll go to the wrench. I'll go to storage. And my CRM system will hold three gigs of, and I'm using already uh, four megs of space. I think I just took a, a, a meg with that picture. Um, so a smarter way to use the storage that comes with a uh, work drive is I would go back to Joe Broker's record. And this will lead up into our next topic pretty nicely. But anyway, I could have gone to attachments here and I could have put that picture up into a folder and then point to it. Or because if I put it in work drive, I've got, you know, not three gigs, I've got 5,000 gigs. Um, so I can go up here to Zoho work drive and, it, and now I'm just pointing to a file. So it depends on your business, but I could, uh, I could go into this file right here and pick it. I could pick them both and put both of these pictures in Joe Broker's record. They're not taking any storage. You see the size is zero, but I've got all, so uh, I've got all these pictures up in work drive and they're still in his record. So what are some uses of this? You know, I've got one client, they do uh, awnings for homeowners and they take pictures of before and after. They also take a lot of pictures to show the installers which awning, go, which awning goes where. And these pictures, believe it or not, are super high res. They take them with some fancy cameras because a homeowner will say, hey, you dented my gutter. And then they can say, no, um, 
your gutter was dented before. I've seen them do it. Uh, so they store thousands and thousands of pictures uh, on this person's house in that case. Um, and they would eat up all of their CRM storage. And is there a reason to use this over one driver Dropbox? Just really the size. First off, you have it. If you're on Zoho One, you have five terabytes of storage. Um, I believe Dropbox gives you two gigabytes free. Um, I know you can buy it. And I know if you have a G Suite account, you get 30 gigabytes. But five terabytes is way more than that. Um, so it's a lot of storage. Plus, it's all built in here. In other words, I can use Google Drive here but I don't have a Dropbox. I'd have to use a URL link to a Dropbox file, be a little bit, or a OneDrive file. So Zoho does have a Google Drive uh, integration, but I just find WorkDrive is just part of the Zoho suite. You already have it, so you can use it. Um, so there's a lot more than just syncing a laptop. Uh, it's just keeping common storage. Uh, like I said, we we have in ours a, a lot of QuickBooks backups, just archival stuff. Um, if I showed you my production work drive system, we'll laugh, but Steven's not here, so I can pick on him. This is our production system. I'll go to the admin panel. And uh, it shows we have five terabytes and we've used 850 megs, about one terabyte. And it shows me over here who uses it all. And you can see that Stephen used 519 of these 850. And it's pictures. He and his wife love to take photos and they're storing them all up here. He has 49,000 pictures up here. Anyway, shows activity. Uh, another nice thing about WorkDrive I'll just add is um, when I log into WorkDrive, it will tell me what's new. So under, under general here, I have 12 new unread files and I can go in here and I see Bob put in some gold mine stuff on August 24th. I'm just going to mark them as red. I don't need to read them. Um, like I said, the QuickBooks folder, these are just backups of uh, QuickBooks. So these are the ones I haven't read. I'm not going to read them. So I, I like to just see, uh, you know, what's new. What did people put up there? Um, OneDrive is one terabyte and two terabyte storage. One drive is one terabyte, Dropbox is two. Okay, well, they raised it. Um, I don't know, I had a free Dropbox account. I got four gigs because I signed up four people. Zoho is five and it integrates. So I wanna talk about integration a little bit because it's gonna go, that's our next topic. Um, uh, if you have any other questions, AJ, I'll be happy to answer them. We'll, we'll take them at the end. Um, so the next thing I want to talk about are called extensions. We're going to go back to uh, our demo system here. I'm going to open up CRM, and we're going to go to the wrench, and there's an area called Marketplace. Every Zoho app has a Marketplace. The CRM one is probably the richest. It's broken down into sections called All, Zoho, Google, and Microsoft. We'll tour them kind of quickly. But these are ways of extending your CRM system with what are called extensions or uh, apps. It's a marketplace. Some of these are paid. Many of them are free. And Zoho just announced that they have over 1,000. And so they break them down into categories. And I'll, I'll just show you an example is, um, let's say you want to be able to send text messages from Zoho. So that's SMS, right? I just hit SMS and these are all the ones that are available. Um, one I probably would recommend is Twilio or SMS Magic. We'll look at the Twilio one. 
So you click on it, and here are some things you want to study. First off, um, look at the pricing and see if it's paid or trial or free. If it's trial, it'll work for free for a while. You can taste, uh, get a taste. Um, if it's paid, you got a, a, an SMS I would expect to be paid because it costs money to send text messages. You have to pay by the message. Um, the other thing I like to uh, have you check out is if it's written by Zoho or not. I'm not suspicious, but stuff written by third parties, of which we are uh, third-party possible developers. We, we're we writing extensions for Zoho. Um, you know, you just got to be careful that Zoho didn't write it, so will it be maintained? Uh, if Zoho changes their API, will the people who write it modify it to keep it going? Um, and then also look at the reviews. So there's uh, ratings and reviews. And if you see that the thing's not been uh, reviewed, you know, uh, maybe nobody's looked at it yet. So let's say you want QuickBooks integration. We'll just hit QB. Um, and by the way, um, this is another paid one. I'm not a fan of QuickBooks integration. Oh, look at that. So, developed by the same guys. Um, just got to know who Z setup is. So there are tons of integrations here. You can just go through the all extensions and there are categories. So um, there's actually a Zoho work drive. We're going to install that and I'm going to show you how Zoho actually wrote an extension for Zoho work drive. So you can do more with work drive than you are now. But there's, um, you know, here's a UPS rate comparator, okay? So, or a FedEx rate comparator. And, and again, if you do a lot of shipping, you might want to integrate FedEx with your CRM. So you look at it and pre and developed by Tierra. So that's another third party one. Um, they'll tell you what it does. There's a little YouTube movie. There's screenshots, there's pricing, and then they, you can go to the uh, vendor here and talk to them if you need to. So it's kind of nice at Zoho. If you develop for Zoho, they'll throw you in here. There's Zendesk integration. Uh, there's a address verification if you do a lot of mailing. Uh, I don't even know idea what Zooper is. You have to, you know, um, there's a WhatsApp integration here. So, you know, just about any tool, we've talked about Flow, um, but there's some people who wrote some stuff that are very uh, built already. In fact, they'll integrate to Salesforce or to uh, Salesforce's help desk product. Uh, there's a QuickBooks thing. There's zero accounting integration. Um, I have no idea what Payway is, but there's something there. So. This just goes on and on and on. There's a, you know, Zoho comes with Click, but some people want to use Slack. So Zoho has an integration. I believe Zoho wrote this. Um, and there are many. There's a few that uh, you use a lot. And uh, oh, first off, under installed are all the ones we've installed. And I'll show you what we have installed. Let me bring it up on mine. I'll drag it over. We have quite a few. Uh, Zoho Sign is uh, Zoho's contract signature stuff. There's a Zoho Survey integration, Sales IQ, you know, that's set up. This is analytics. We talked about that. The finance suite projects, those are all Zoho apps. Um, this is Zoho Creator. Um, this update ISP is something we wrote. We won't go into it, but it helps us track visitors. Uh, Zoho Meetings, Zoho Showtime, Zoho Desk. There's our work drive integration. I'm going to show you that today. Another thing Bob wrote, more of a development project. So, uh, these are all of the apps that we've installed, mostly Zoho apps. 
updates here will tell me if the new version of an extension is available. When you install an extension, by the way, if I install the Zoho sign, it gets installed for everybody. Um, it will ask you when you install it, do you want to give it to everybody or just certain people? Um, and the idea is, you know, if you just install it once, then you don't have to give it to everyone. It's not like desktop software where you've got to walk a disk around. Um, so, I, it, but if there is an update available, it'll tell you and you just say, give it to me. And then it gets installed for everybody again. So maintenance is a lot easier. Uh, so in the marketplace, Zoho has broken out all of their extensions right here. These are all the ones that are available. Some of them I'm already running like analytics. So it says manage Zoho forms. It's asking me to turn it on and set it up. We just never did. Um, same with Zoho writer. Uh, then there's Google extensions. And we've talked about this a little bit. Um, we can integrate Google Calendar, which I do. We use Google Calendar here. And it's linked to this calendar and this Google account, and it's two-way. Uh, there's also uh, Google AdWords integration, Google Contacts. I, you know, this is kind of a pain to me, but um, I can put my entire sync, my entire Contacts database, into Google Contacts, which then is on my phone, and you know, but I, I have Zoho CRM on my phone, so I, I view it as redundant. Um, and then there's uh, so there's some other extensions like the Chrome extension for Gmail. We've talked about that. Then finally, there's Microsoft stuff. There isn't a whole lot here. There's an Office 365 a Outlook in a Word. Uh, the Outlook integration is, we have it on. Um, it's active right now. Um, you need to know what version of Outlook you're running. In other words, there's a, it supports Outlook 20, 10, 13, and 16. It does do 19 as well. Uh, but you got to know if you're on a 32 or 64 bit uh, version. And then there's also Outlook for Mac. Uh, this plugin, um, I don't think we've talked about it, works okay. I just find, you know, you're now installing software on a desktop. And so, how good is your desktop? Is it up to date? Is the Windows up to date? Is the Outlook maintained? Is there something corrupt in there? Uh, there's also uh, integration in Outlook 365. You got your meetings, contacts, and tasks, right? Those three things. And then in Word, you've got integration. So they pulled those out. Again, 62 or 32 or 64 bit. But I would just encourage you to see what's available in the all. Um, there might be something for uh, some other software you're running. Um, for example, say you use Shopify. There is a Shopify extension. So you can integrate your Shopify account. Um, it's developed by Zoho and it's free. So if you have a Shopify site, everybody who buys something off your website will automatically put themselves into your CRM. And you just install it by hitting the install button. So my point is, is there's a thousand apps. I can't show them all to you, uh, but just take a look. Just go in there and search for something and uh, give it a try. You can easily uninstall anything that's installed. I could have, I can go to this uninstall you know, Zoho sign, and if I don't like it, take it out. Um, having said that, some of these apps will modify your database quite a bit. For instance, there's a Zillow extension. Uh, it's not there anymore. It was there. Um, it added a ton of fields to CRM because it was a year house was built, square footage, number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, all that stuff, school district. Um, you know, when you take it out, a lot of those fields are left behind. So, um, I'm surprised Zillow's not there. I believe Zillow, when CRM used something called API version one, Zillow wrote it. And when Zoho came out with API version two, Zillow did not want to update it. So again, the people who write these things, Zillow wrote theirs. Uh, they may not maintain them. That's why I'm a little leery of third party sometimes because uh, 
I, I count on Zoho to maintain uh, the stuff they write. They don't always. For example, Zoho used to have a free QuickBooks integration. And in 2016, they stopped it. And it, mostly because QuickBooks is really hard to work with. Um, QuickBooks people feel if you want to see data in QuickBooks, you ought to buy licenses for everybody. Um, and so I think that Zoho just kind of gave up trying to, to build it. So some third party people have, and, um, you know, with mixed results. Uh, generally, when someone has QuickBooks for us, I'd say, well, take a good look at Zoho books because the integration is really strong. Um, so that's just a quick talk about extensions. Go in there, and if you use something, it's possible. It, 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 a lot of the popular stuff is in here. You know, it's even a little surprising if I come up here and say Salesforce, which is Zoho's biggest competitor. Look at that. There's a, a Salesforce desk is their help desk product, but um, third party, one guy's reviewed it. Be a little careful about that. Um, okay, I'm going to look, go back to the meeting and look for comments and have my team save files to the server work drive icon, which shows up in our file directories. Yeah, you could do that. That, you know, your guys will have to be on a, I'm sorry, uh, AJ asked a question. The concept is to recreate the directories on our server on work drive and have my team save files, photos to the work drive icon, which shows up in our file directories. Yeah, you could do that. Um, you know, they'll have to be on the network. You know, it's like not in the field. They might not have access to the server. I just like the cloud for the cloudiness of it. And the minute you, you're on a server, you're back to VPNs and LANs and stuff like that. Um, but that would work. Also, if the files are customer specific, I would recommend you... Um, put the files right in the customer record. So we're going to install, we have installed this Zoho work drive for CRM. This is my demo account. Must have done this already. So I got it. Uh, we'll configure it. Um, oh, look at this. The ver So under updates here, Zoho is telling me this is our demo account, which we don't really use or maintain much. It's just for play. Tells me two of my extensions need to be updated. Zoho Work Drive, I just saw that I am in version 20 and they're already up to version 32. This thing just came out about eight months ago, so they're making a lot of changes. But you just hit the update button. And uh, sometimes they ask for permissions. This is where I install it for everyone. We've got two people in the system. We'll give it to both. And this will take very little time. So what does this do? When I'm on a, it's a little bit different than the attachment that I just showed you. So this tells me um, version 32, it told, these are the changes it made to my CRM system. So it actually went into leads and it added some fields and some lists and it added a function and a rule. So. We've talked about all this stuff, how to do workflow, how to add, you know, custom fields. And so it's showing me what it just did. And it made some pretty heavy changes to my system. If I were to uninstall this, it doesn't undo those changes. So you got to be a little careful about what you throw into your system. Um, I might bring up one more uh, concept if we have time. Let me just show you what the work drive extension does. I'll go back to Joe Broker's record. I now have a new related list in the contact record um, it's down here called Zoho Work Drive, and it's big and it's empty. So I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to upload a file. Again, off my machine, I'll put the, that's the roof of the Zoho building. So it's going to upload this file right there. 
it put a couple of fields up here way up in the contact record. Um, I may need to do a refresh. Looks like it. Let me do a quick refresh and then I'll uh, show you what it looks like in work drive. Um, Oh, AJ had one other question too. Do you have to be an admin to install the work drive extension? Well, that's a good question. I think you do. Um, so anyway, there's two two fields that uh, work drive added, and it's this is a, a URL to this guy's folder on work drive. I'm gonna go to work drive now. And work drive created a folder, a team folder called Zoho CRM. If I click on it. It's got my five modules. If I go to contacts, um, did I use Christopher McLeod? No, I use Joe Broker. That's a little weird. He ought to be, Joe Broker should be here. Might have to do a refresh. Every contact that has a document should be in here. I don't know why it's not. There's Brokers R Us. It did it at the account level. Associated contacts. There it is, Joe Broker. So it will build the file structure that will relate to your CRM. Every CRM account, contact, and lead will get his own folder. All the people that work at Brokers R Us will be listed here. And if I go into Joe's record, there's that picture. Um, so all I had, I didn't have to put that contract up in a folder, then go into his record and point to it. That's what I had to do when I went to this attachment. I might've had to take this picture here and say, okay, now I got to go into Zoho work drive and I got to find, uh, all my folders. I got to find that file. My, maybe it's in general. And then I got to pick it and then I got to add it. It's already been added. Um, so well, all I was able to do was I had to go down here. I went to work drive and I said, let me add a picture. And all the pictures in Joe's record are right here. Um, I can create a folder under it too. So this is the Zoho work drive extension. Uh, so that's why I decided to pick these two topics. Cause one is you go to the marketplace, you install the extension. It gives you this, nice thing here it created the folder for you it creates the folder structure up on work drive for you and all you have to do is upload pictures or files to it i'll go to downloads here and i'll pick another file um it's some pdf doesn't matter what it is it's there uh, I didn't have to put it on work drive and I didn't have to tell my people, this is how we're going to organize our stuff. Just put it in the guy's record. It'll go into work drive in the right place. Um, last thing AJ asked about, he sent me an email. He had one more question. Are these files on the work drive? Five terabyte? Not Yes. These files are in work drive and you can see this is a two megabyte PDF or a uh, JPEG. It is not eating up my CRM storage. It's in work drive. Um, you asked earlier, AJ, one last question in work drive. How do I share a file with someone? So let's say I wanted to share this file with AJ. I could click on it. I can share. And um, this is sharing it within your company here. Normally you give everybody access to folders, but you might have a a file or a folder that's only for, um, uh, say, accounting people. Um, there is an external share. I got to remember how to do it. It's not there. You click on the little Dropbox and it says external share link. If you want to share this with an outsider, um, I know this isn't your email address, but we're not, you know, I'm going to say AJ can view it. Um, I can put a password on it too, just in case. Uh, I can also have this expire in say 30 days 
or by Saturday, I will allow you to download it, keep a copy. And then under request user data, I could say, you know, whoever, um, you might forward this, this thing around. I might say, well, you have to give me your name, your phone number and your email. I want to know who's, who's accessing it. So, um, if I hit this create, you'll actually get an email with a link. And then if you click on the link, it will ask you for this stuff. You can download it. I could have set a password. Yeah, that's password. So that's the external share. And it will tell you that so-and-so, who downloaded it and when. Um, so you can share an entire folder. I could, could have gone to the Joe Broker folder. I might want to share this with Joe, give him access to the entire folder so he can put stuff up there. I don't know if he puts something up there, if it'll show up in his record. I bet you it does. I bet you it would. Uh, right now, he can't put stuff up there. All he can do is view it. But if you gave him up upload rights, uh, I really bet you that would show up in his record. So I just think uh, WorkDrive is, especially with this WorkDrive extension, is a much cleaner way to uh, store a lot of customer-related data. Um, it's in the cloud. You can actually view it on your phone. So... All right, it's 12.45, so I think we'll wrap up. I will stop recording.